Hi everyone, this video will be on graduation requirements, specifically UCI general education requirements. We'll be going over IGETSI and UC reciprocity as well as UCI general education requirements or GEs as they'll be referred to uh, in the rest of this video. Okay, starting off we have IGETSI and UC reciprocity. These are special certifications that transfer students and some first year students may have received if they attended a California community college or another UC campus before coming to UCI. The special thing about this certification is that it does clear all of their lower GE requirements. IGETC and UC reciprocity certifications are completed by your community college or by a UC advisor, and they may be indicated on your transcripts or in a separate verification certificate or letter. Something to keep in mind is that the certification is not automatically added to your transcript, so if you have it, you will need to request for it specifically from the advisor at the community college you are coming from or the UC campus that you are coming from. In the case that you have a full or partial UCI GETSI certification or a UC letter of reciprocity, you will need to send it electronically to the UCI undergraduate admissions office prior to the start of fall quarter. If you do not have IGETC or UC Reciprocity, you will be required to complete any remaining GE courses here at UCI in order to finish your degree. For most first-year students, you will be completing your GE requirements after coming to UCI. Okay, so there are eight categories that make up UCI's GE requirements. These are Category 1, Writing, Category 2, Science and Technology, Category 3, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Category 4, Arts and Humanities, Category 5, Quantitative Literacy and Formal Reasoning, Category 6, Language Other Than English, Category 7, Multicultural Studies, and Category 8, International and Global Issues. One cool thing about all the GEs is that every UC student, regardless of their major, must complete these requirements. Okay, so now we're going to go over each GE requirement in a bit more depth. Starting off, we have GE 1, Writing. This will probably be your most important GE, uh, just because we expect you to complete this requirement in a certain time frame. These classes will be really beneficial to you as you start moving into higher level coursework during your third and fourth year at UCI. There are two parts to the writing requirement. There are lower division writing and upper division writing. Lower division writing needs to be completed before the beginning of your seventh quarter, so by the end of your second year, uh, and you'll be completing these classes during your first and second year at UCI. There are two pathways to complete this requirement. They are the writing series and humanities core. The writing series is a two-course sequence focused on research writing, uh, and it's composed of writing 50 and writing 60. The second pathway is Humanities Core. This is actually a year-long sequence focused on mixing the study of humanities with research writing. If you choose to take the sequence, you would take Humanities Core 1A, 1B, and 1C throughout your entire first year. Please note, as along with uh, entry-level writing, you will receive specific placement information for lower division writing, and that will be provided to you during your SPOP registration session. In the case that you have any questions about your writing placement, you can always ask your advisor um, on the day of your session. The second part of your writing GE, GE is upper division writing. You'll take this during your third or fourth year at UCI after you've already completed lower division writing. Upper division writing classes are numbered 100 through 199 with a capital W, which is what identifies the class as an upper division writing class. Make sure to check with your major, as you may already have a designated course for this requirement, which means you wouldn't have to specifically find an upper division writing course. Uh, there might already be a class that's incorporated into your major that fulfills both a major requirement and upper division writing. One last important thing to note is that all students, even those with IGETC or UC reciprocity, must complete upper division writing at UCI. So if you just happen to have that certification that we talked about earlier, uh, you will still need to complete upper division writing. It's the one GE that you still need to complete at UCI. Okay, moving on, we have GE2, Science and Technology. This GE category is made up of three courses based on topics like biology, chemistry, earth and science, physics, and many more. It's always a good idea to check in with an advisor about your major as it may have specific courses for you to take that already complete this requirement. The next category is GE3, Social and Behavioral Sciences. For this category, you'll need to complete three classes based on topics like anthropology, economics, education, linguistics, and more. As a student under social sciences, you will complete this GE through major required courses, so you won't need to worry about finding additional classes that count for this GE. Moving on, we have GE4 Arts and Humanities. This category will require you to complete three courses in topics such as art, music, drama, film and media studies, and more. 
This requirement can also be completed through the Humanities Core series, so if you decide to take that year-long series during your first year, it will cover this GE as well. Okay, so Category 5, or GE5, is Quantitative Symbolic and Computational Reasoning. This category is a bit different as it's divided into two sections. So Category VA, or the first section is Category VA, which is Quantitative Literacy, and the second section is Category VB, which is Formal Reasoning. In order to fully complete this category, you'll need to take three classes in total with one from the approved VA list, one class from the approved VB list, and then one additional class from either list. However, like GE3, uh, GE5 is also covered by social sciences major requirements, which we do discuss in another video. For GE6, we have language other than English. Uh, many of you may have already completed this GE already uh, prior to coming to UCI. This could be through three years of high school study in the same language, a score of 3, 4, or 5 on an AP exam in a language other than English, or a score of 570 or higher on an SAT 2 test for a language other than English. But don't worry, if you haven't completed this before coming to UCI, you can still complete it at UCI by completing a UCI language through the 1C level, passing a language other than English exemption exam, or placing, higher into, or placing into a level higher than 1C through a placement test. There is, an even, there is even an option for taking an approved course of study in a UCEAP study abroad program. The next GE is GE7, which is Multicultural Studies. This only needs one course from a discipline such as Anthropology, African American Studies, Asian American Studies, and many more. This GE can also be completed through Humanities Core. The final GE category that we have is GE8, International and Global Studies. So like GE6, this one can also be completed prior to coming to UCI. This can be done through four years or level four of a high school study in the same language, a score of four or five on an AP exam in a language other than English, or a score of 620 or higher on an SAT test in language. At UCI, this GE can be completed through one course from the list of approved uh, topics, which can be viewed on the general catalog, you may have noticed that we've talked a lot about the general catalog and that's just because it's really helpful. It's something that you will use throughout your entire time at UCI and this isn't just for GE8. All classes for every GE are listed in the catalog so it's a really great resource uh, for you to consult. And then the other ways that GE8 can be fulfilled is by completing the Humanities course series or taking an approved course of study in a UCE UCEAP study abroad program. Uh, you may have noticed that for Humanities Core, it does cover four GEs, so Lower Division Writing, um, Arts and Humanities, Multicultural Studies, and then this one, International Global Issues. So just keep that in mind if you happen to take Humanities Core. Okay, so this is the end of the video. If you have any questions, please email us at socksci at uci.edu or feel free to visit our website, which is listed on the slide. Bye, everyone!